today's video, I'm gonna show you guys five easy effects that will take your videos to the next level inside After Effects. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you guys just hit that subscribe button. Come on now. So the first effect that I'm gonna be showing you guys is called etching. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, click new adjustment layer, and then we're gonna go up to our effects and presets, and we're gonna type in etching. And this is part of the Sapphire plugin. If you don't have Sapphire plugin, I am sorry, but if you do, we're gonna grab it, we're gonna drag it onto our new adjustment layer. As is, you guys can definitely just play around with these settings, but what I do is I go up to load preset, and this will load in the Sapphire preset browser, and we're gonna scroll down to right here, quick sketch. We're gonna click load. This effect is just a really cool if you ever needed some sort of cool black and white type of scene. And from here, you guys can definitely just play around with these settings. You know, it does all sorts of different things. I always add in a glow. So we're gonna go to effects and where I always use deep glow. If you guys have not watched my first five effects, you should go, go watch that. I'll link it right now. It is definitely my favorite glow. We're gonna add that on. But as you guys can see, etching is just a really cool black and white kind of find edges type of effect. And it'll definitely add a really cool twist to your video. So the next effect that I'm gonna be showing you guys is called card dance. our effects and presets and we're gonna type in card dance now this comes with after effects so everyone should be able to try this out but what we're gonna do is gonna grab card dance put this onto our layer and as you can see nothing happens yet but if we go up to gradient layer one and change that to our video we actually need to make a camera so we're gonna right click click new camera and we're going to make sure it is on 50 millimeter we're gonna click ok now go back to our layer and we're gonna go down to camera system and we're gonna put this to comp camera so it just connects this camera to the video. So we're gonna go to Z position and we're gonna put this source to intensity one. And as you can see, it starts to break up our video. From here, we can actually go up to rows and columns and this will indicate how kind of small each kind of square or card is. So what I always do is I put it to like 250, 250, and as you can see, you get this really cool like 3D particle effect on your video. Next thing I always do is I right click, click new and put a solid under it. So it has a black background. And then on the actual video, this is where you guys can play around with the multiplier and offset. So if you do offset, offset that, that, hey, gang, to negative, it'll put it back in Z space. And for the multiplier, that will multiply how far these particles will move. As you can see, this is where you guys can play around with it. You can make transitions out of it. You can actually just put it on the actual video and kind of keyframe the multiplier. You can actually play around with the X, Y. We're gonna keyframe the multiplier and offset. Click U on your keyboard. And we're gonna go back two frames and we're gonna put this multiplier to one. And then we're gonna put the offset to zero. And actually I'm kidding, multiplier to zero. And then on the actual transition, where you can crank this up. We're gonna go to about 4.3 and then we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna grab these put it over there copy and paste the original values i like all of them click w or easy ease and you'll get something like this super cool effect there's so many things that you guys can do inside car dance i just showed you guys the basics to get set up for whatever you want to do make it your own way so the third effect i'm gonna be showing you guys is called cc scale wipe <laughs> effects and presets and type in cc scale wipe and it should pop up we're just going to grab that put it onto our layer and this is part of after effects so you don't need no plugins we're going to put the direction to 90 but at the same time you guys can play around however you want what this effect does is it just pretty much stretches the frames on either side and you can actually move around the center figure out where you exactly want it to stretch and then on the stretch we want to have the stretch at the beginning so we're gonna keyframe the stretch, click U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframe. And then we want this to stretch quite a bit. It's really just, you know, give or take whatever you want. We're gonna put it to eight. And then we're gonna go ahead about 10 frames and put it to zero. And then we're gonna highlight them. We're gonna easy ease them. And then we're gonna go into our little graph editor, hold shift and bring these over to get a graph like that. So it comes in really quick and you should get something like this. 
Now, if you're a fan of car edits, I've seen this effect many times done on a car. So if you wanna know how to do it on a car, pretty simple. So as you guys can see, I've actually rotoscoped the car out. It's a very horrible rotoscope, but just for an example. So with the rotoscope cut out, I duplicated it twice. And on the bottom layer, we're actually gonna add the scale wipe. Once you have the scale wipe, we can actually put this to zero. And then on the stretch, we want to have the stretch go crazy like this. Click you on our keyboard drag over and then put it to zero. So at the start of it, it kind of zooms in all crazy like that. So the next effect I'm gonna be showing you guys is a really cool circular text. To make this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, click new, new text, and we're gonna type out whatever you want. And then we're actually gonna put it twice. So it has like a full loop. Now we're gonna make the text smaller so it fits all the way on the screen. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to effects and presets and we're gonna type in CC cylinder right here. It is part of After Effects, so you don't need no plugins. We're gonna drag that onto our text. And as you can see, it already pretty much does it for you. We're gonna go down to our rotation. And from here, the X rotation is what makes it go kind of more teeter totters towards you. And then the Y rotation is what makes it spin. As you can see, there is a gap right here. And to fix this, all you gotta do is go to your text layer and make that text just a little bit bigger. As you can see, if it's too small, it doesn't wrap all the way. And we just wanna bring the scale up so it fits fully. I just usually add in a glow. And in this case, it's my favorite glow, deep glow. Put this to like 0.75. And if you wanted it to spin, all you have to do is at the beginning, you want to keyframe the rotation Y, click U to bring up the keyframes and go however long you want and just crank this up. And we're actually gonna go this way. And if you play it back, now you have rotating text. So the fifth effect is gonna be tritone transitions. I have this preset used and I use it all the time in almost every video I make. It's a very subtle, colorful transition. And to make this, all you have to do is right click, click new, adjustment layer. We're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're gonna type in tritone, boom. And we're just gonna grab tritone. Any of these tritones, they're all the same. Same, same. But different. We're gonna go to the midtones and we can change this to whatever color you want. I think in this case, I think green would look really good with this video. And from here, all you gotta do is click the blend with original, click you on your keyboard, go back a couple frames, put this to 100, and then go ahead in the timeline and put this to 100. And then from here, we're just gonna highlight those and easy ease them. I also like to add in an exposure. So we're gonna go up to exposure. We're gonna drag on exposure. We're gonna put one on the transition, keyframe it, go back in your timeline, put it to zero, go ahead in your timeline, put it to zero. And if you play it back, you should have something like this. Oh, that's so easy clean if you guys learned a new effect today and you want to see me make another one of these videos make sure you guys go drop a like and subscribe down below and i'll catch you guys later Ooh.